Alright YouTube, so this is the life of Snipe. If y'all like these type of videos, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, this is just gonna be a real life, you know, what my life is like. I'm just gonna be talking to y'all throughout these videos and just really just then y'all see what type of life I be living, like what the fuck I have to deal with and why I be fucking going crazy, like my life be crazy as hell. I get all types of shit going on. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why everybody fucking hates Snipe. It's like, bro, it's like everybody hates fucking Snipe. On some real shit. Everybody hates Snipe. I, I might have, like, you know, everybody hate Chris. You know what I'm saying? I might have a everybody hate Snipe t-shirt come out every so, sometime. Maybe. We you think you fuck with, dude? Think you fuck with this shit? But... Like I was saying, um, I'm just be telling y'all like the shit that be going on in my life and why I fucking hate myself and why I be crying at night. Yep. Let me tell y'all the, the dirty truth. What a lot of these people don't be trying to tell y'all about their life. I'm I'm picking up my leg. Oh, like, yeah, like, uh, what well, I say my life. If you, speaking of that. Let, let, speaking of some life fucked up things, look at my leg. Look at my leg. Look, bitch, look at my leg. Nigga, you know I've been through some shit. Bitch. N nigga, I didn't do this to myself. Don't think that, nigga. I ain't no fucking crazy person with this shit. Nasty. Okay, let me start with y'all. Probably don't want to see that shit. But, bro, my life is fucked up. I go through some fucked up ass shit. And my fucked up thing today is really like, bro, my girl going through out a whole bunch of shit. And she taking that shit out on me and treating me like I'm not shit. And, you know, I'm just, you know, that, like, I'm not, I'm just like, you know, I'm being a man about the shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, like, I'm dealing with the shit. I'm just, you know, she talking her shit. You know, she talking her shit. Like, when I say she, did, she talking her shit, like, damn near want to punch a bitch in the jaw type shit. Like, she talking her shit. But, like, I'm not that type of, you know, I'm not that type of person. So, you know, I'm, I'm just letting the shit slide. I'm just letting her talk her shit, you know. Say, ah, uh, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, you better, you better um, do this or that or I'm going to leave you. Like, bitch, like, what the fuck? Like. What the fuck you talking to me like, like, bitch? What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? Like, what the fuck? Like, like, I'm, I'm sad and I want to punch you in the jaw. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you like? But you know, I'm playing it off. So I'm just I'm like, I'm, I don't say shit. I'm just, I'm like, you know, you know how, you know how his niggas are. You're like, all right. You know, you just did that, and I'm like, damn, this, you really fucked up. You really fucked up. Like, bitch, you really fucked up. Like, you fucked up for real. Like, bitch, you are a hateful ass whore. Like, what the fuck? But then I'm like, bro, she really just treat me like this right now because a nigga down. But when a nigga was up, you know, she was still, she wasn't treating me like this. But she was trying to treat me like this. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, just because a nigga got money with the wood, that don't mean that it just makes everything better. It's just, you know, she's still going through shit. So she's, either way, she's going to be bitchy. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be a fucking Karen. So I'm like, bro, how I'm feeling on this shit, like, you going to say what the fuck you going to say to me? You, I, I'm going to remember every bit of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember every motherfucking bit of this shit. Like it or not. Like, that's just how I am. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person like this, but when, when I'm, like, hurt or, like, someone does some spicy shit to me and I know damn well I don't deserve this shit, I'm going to remember that shit for the rest of my fucking life. And it's just sad shit. It's not even always, bro. It's just sad shit. So, like, I'm always walking around fucked up. But I don't say shit. I just hold that shit in. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got a whole lot of shit going on, too. 
But a nigga can't really. You no, know, I can't express that shit to nobody for real. So I just gotta hold that shit in. Like I got court coming up. I could go to jail for. I could go to prison, not jail. I could go to prison, or my life could change for the better, and I won't have to deal with this court shit no more. Well, at least partly because I still got other shit that I got to deal with. But uh, the most stressful thing in my life will be over with. And uh, that will be good for me, but at the same time, it could, it's like 50-50 on some real shit. I'm dealing with that. And days are just counting now. It's like it's less than fucking 15 days until I got to go to court. You know what I'm saying? And I'm dealing with that shit, then dealing with my grandma having cancer and motherfucking just life problems, fucking financial problems. I'm dealing with all this. I'm dealing with my girl, grandma having cancer, dealing with my motherfucking, you know, dealing with it, her talking shit to me, you know, making me feel like less than I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dealing with that shit. Then I'm dealing with my own demons. But I'm holding that all in, you know, I'm handling that shit. And I don't expect nobody to give a fuck anyway, nigga, on hood. Because I'm a nigga, bro. Like, bro, nobody gives a fuck about us on some real shit. Nobody gives a fuck. Bro, bitches give a fuck about they self. They can see it as fuck, bro. Either way it's gonna go, a bitch gonna give a fuck about herself before anything. The bitch, like, bro, a bitch will give her her last... Will give you her last, but she knows she got something else coming. So she ain't even fucked up about it. You know what I'm saying? But she will make it seem like it's such a big deal. Like, bitch, you already know. Like, you like you know, you know shit straight. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck you trying to, like, you trying to make this shit seem like it's, like, then you going to throw it in my face later on. All right, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, type shit. Like, <clears throat> motherfuckers, bro. It's really hard to be out here as a man. Because no one's going to give a fuck about you. I mean, women have their own problems. But at the end of the day, someone gives a fuck about a female. Somebody does. Somebody. is is But they so rebellious. They, they want to fight. They want to fight that shit. And you can't help it. So it's just like... Bitch, go be stupid. Go be stupid by your damn self and go go figure it out. Like, and that's why, bro, I low-key feel like females, like, females, they mature on a school, like, educational type level, like, cleaning, like, you know what I'm saying? They, like, you know, getting, I don't know what it is about getting bills done, but they know more about they learn more about, you know, dealing with bills and dealing with, you know, cleaning and dealing with, making, like, being a caregiver. They're taught being a caregiver from a child, you know what I'm saying? A kid, a male, bro, we're really taught to, you know, be providers, you know what I'm saying? To be, you know, to be men, to be, you know, masculine, you know what I'm saying? More masculine than anything, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I really don't feel like females mature faster than boys. They're just taught more life skills before boys are really learned life skills. And, you know, they go through a little, they go through bullshit. I ain't gonna stunt. They go through some, you know, some struggles. They go through, you know, some hard shit at a young age just because, you know, they, they're they rebellious, like, you know, some real shit, they think they know everything, and they, sometimes they just get put in bad situations, you know what I'm saying, and you, as a kid, being a kid, bro, you gotta, you gotta learn how to stay in your own lane, and, you know, don't put yourself in bad situations, and I feel like, 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 kids ain't really, you know, they don't got no guidance, and they ain't got nobody to be like, bro, you don't do this, don't do that. Stay over here, you know. That that's that's just a whole another string of problems, bro. But the whole me the story is, bro. Motherfucking man, nobody gives a fuck about us for real, for real. You're just supposed to, you supposed to 
survive. You're supposed to be able to survive. You're supposed to be able to provide. And if you're not a provider, then you're literally labeled as a fucking bomb in the community. So, as simple as that, you know, at the end of the day, the people with the money, the gold, you know, the diamonds, the motherfucking... The motherfucking stacks of money, bro. The motherfucking bank rolls. Those are the people that, you know, not not necessarily that, but the people who, you know, obviously got more to, more to offer are the people who are going to be the people that get most of the attention. And people who can't provide are going to be the people who don't get the attention that they deserve until they get to that level. Then that's when everybody want to act like, oh, you this and you, you know, you're a god. That's why that they, underdog shit is so fucking crazy, bro. Coming from nothing and then becoming something and becoming something great type shit. Like, that shit is different than already having it type shit or, you know, just getting it out of nowhere type of shit like that that growing with it and seeing the start from finish type shit that shit crazy you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm trying to do in my life type shit I'm trying to I mean shit ain't good right now but I'm working for it and moving forward I'm almost there type of shit I can feel it but yeah see you